yeah, I'm gonna return this thing. This is the MacBook Pro M1 Pro. I've got the box, here it is, and I'm taking it back to the store today. It's sad to see it go, but it's time. It's time to return it. Now you might be wondering, why the heck am I returning this thing? It's such a great machine. It's proved to be a really nice middle of the line new laptop. By middle, I mean between the M1s and the M1 Max. So it's right in that nice little spot where it's useful for a lot of folks. And if you've seen my video on which chip I think is good for which developer type, the breakdown, check that out if you haven't. Then this one actually overlaps a lot of developer roles. So why am I returning this thing? Um, well, I have this one. This is my main daily driver. I'll talk about that in another video. But this one's going back to the store today. So this is a little bit of a different kind of video in case you couldn't tell. And not my usual developer related tests or breakdowns or benchmarks because I wanted to share what I'm doing on this channel with you folks and to tell you that you know, all these machines that I had come through here, some of them I kept because I thought they were great and some of them I didn't keep because I only got them for testing purposes. Now, do I think that this machine is not good or, you know, not worth buying? No, uh, I think that this is a great freaking machine. So I'm not gonna sit here and BS you. You're all very smart people. You are on this channel after all. I'm just kidding, okay, that's just uh, blowing smoke up my own. You're all smart people because you are, a lot of you are developers, so you kinda have to be, you know? And you can probably see through all the BS when uh, that does happen, when the BS does happen. I think I put this in the wrong way. Yeah, I did. Crap, I gotta make it look original. Not that it matters because they take it out and they make sure everything is good with the machine anyway, but I kind of I thought, you know, since I'm gonna be borrowing this machine from them, from Apple, I might as well return it in the state that I got it. It'd be nice to do that. And I try to pack it up as nicely as possible. And I've done this a few times this year, in 20, well, last year, now it's 2022. I've done this a couple of times last year, and I did this so I can bring information to you folks, because I think uh, a lot of you gain valuable insight, at least I hope so, uh, from my videos, from my reviews, reviews <laughs> and tests. Uh, but really, I'm a, like, I'm not a rich guy, you know, I'm a small, small YouTuber. YouTuber, I'm a, dev a software developer and I've been lucky enough in my software development that I can uh, buy this kind of equipment and uh, show you guys how it works. But I can't buy all the different equipment and keep it because I don't get this stuff for free. Like the, some of the bigger YouTubers, they get this stuff sent to them. Uh, companies like Asus and uh, HP, they, they send it to them the guys review it and then they send it back or they keep it, whatever the case may be. I can't, I don't have that kind of capability. I don't have uh, the resources for that. I don't have the resources to buy all the machines. So I buy the ones that I think I might keep. Like for example, that one right there I bought last year. That's the Asus uh, Rogue Strix 15. The MacBook Air M1, I kept that one. Really nice little beast of a machine, good price. But this MacBook Pro is something I bought just for testing purposes and I knew I wasn't gonna keep it. So I just wanted to be honest about that. And it's not because this machine is not as good as something else. This machine is great, it's fine. I only bought it for the purpose of reviewing it with the intention of returning it. So I'm not gonna take it back and have an angry YouTube video where I'm taking this back because it sucks. No, no, it doesn't suck, okay? But from now on, I will not have this machine in my office. I will be having a bunch of other machines hopefully through here in the next few months, like the Dell XPS 13 Plus. That's looking pretty cool. I wanna get that in here and test it out. Maybe a Lenovo machine but uh, I don't know which ones I'll keep, which ones I won't keep. So I'm, I've been trying to figure out how can I keep going like this and still be able to eat and uh, how do I monetize this? So I haven't been doing any sponsorships. I get a ton of emails like almost daily uh, about sponsorship opportunities, but it's for honestly, for really crappy products that I don't wanna even have on my channel. Some really cheap, knock off crappy stuff. I don't get the good stuff yet. Those companies aren't reaching out to me. I guess I have what, 58,000 subscribers. That's probably not enough to have those companies reach out. Maybe in the future I will, but for now I need to figure out a way how to keep going, how to provide valuable content to you and valuable tests that you would enjoy and still be able to afford it. So I'm thinking about actually 
taking on some sponsors, but um, I have to be very careful about which ones I choose because I don't want to just talk about random crap on my channel. And uh, another thing I was thinking about is doing a membership. YouTube allows you to have a little join button where you have a membership. Let me know what you think about that. I always felt kind of weird about doing that, but uh, I can see why people do it because they, uh, you know, people need some sort of income from doing this stuff. YouTube takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, and there is a recurring monthly fee that I have to pay for editing and all kinds of stuff. Hey, just want to jump in here real quick and say that memberships were turned on, yes. And I want to thank these awesome people for joining. Thank you so much, folks. Your help will hopefully go a long way to getting more gear in here for reviews. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. So let me know what you think. Uh, any other monetization things that I could be doing? Like uh, one is Patreon, but I really don't know what I would offer. Uh, I don't want to make any private videos. That's kind of lame, I think. I want to have all my videos here. I also have done a lot of courses. Over the past year, I've been doing courses for companies, but maybe I'll do some more courses. And uh, I really enjoy creating courseware. Maybe I'll do some uh, courses on JavaScript, TypeScript, and things like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in any of those things membership courses and uh, then I gotta decide what levels of membership there will be and what kind of perks if any and you might see a couple of uh, sponsored videos on this channel coming up in 2022 so get ready for that <laughs> but really it's been pretty awesome I'm gonna take this back to the store now and uh, it's been fun testing this stuff out for you guys and thanks to everybody for uh, cheering me on and being supportive I really appreciate that 2022 is gonna be awesome let's go to the store where the hell is everybody this place is dead. Where's everybody? All right, I'm done here. Going home now. They were pretty nice about it. So this is kind of what I go through when I buy a laptop that I'm planning not to keep, but just to review. Cause, uh, well, I don't know what else I would do with it. Ah, good to be home. Now I know some of you might say, oh, this guy, he's tricking the system. He's using Apple's uh, graces, but really, come on folks. I'm buying so many different Apple products, it's insane. Like I have all these Apple laptops that are mine that I didn't return. I think I bought a ton more laptops and uh, other peripherals and other hardware that I didn't return than I did return. And I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, I'm spreading information to you folks about Apple products. So it's kind of like free advertising for them. Still, I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit bad about it. It's like, it feels wrong to be taking advantage of them like that. Maybe just for a minute I feel bad about it, but then I move on and I feel pretty okay. I also got a new iPhone. Not because I felt bad, because I needed to upgrade. All right, folks, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for listening to my rant. It's a weird one today, but whatever, it happens.